What is an inverse problem? Well, it's the opposite of a direct problem. Let me explain a direct problem uh, by a simple example where we have a pinhole illuminated from behind and a lens and a screen where you form an image. In the direct problem, uh, you can calculate the image given Maxwell's equations and propagation diffraction theory and you find that the source is spread out in the image over a wide area with a bright center spot where the pinhole should be and uh, diffraction rings around that. That's the direct problem. The inverse problem is to take the data, collect it with some uh, measuring equipment, uh, photomultipliers, whatever, and invert it to find the object, that is the little pinhole. And this is an impossible problem. The direct problem is relatively easy. The inverse one is impossible. And this is typical of many uh, experiments in science, uh, in fact most of them I should think, uh, where the data is uh, <coughs> not complete enough, it's lost in, in fading away and not being able to be measured accurately in the edges of the image in this case. And uh, so the inverse problem is impossible to solve, but uh, it's tried to solve it of course, and you always have to have some sort of approximation to guess what the missing information might have been. That's an inverse problem.